Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here. In this one, I'll be integrating our teleporting system into a blank project. The process is basically the same across most projects for the basic integration of the project. This system is designed to be easy to integrate in any project like our other assets and should only take a few minutes. When finished, you'll be able to click teleport, jump teleport, blink teleport, preset teleport, and teleport to enemies using the built-in targeting system, which is easy to set up using your own play player characters and AI. The component is fully com commented and color-coded to make everything easy to understand. And there are tons of customizable options to check out. So without further ado, we'll get into setting up the project. So first thing you're gonna want to do is download the project. It's in 4.26 plus. I may look at, into putting it into earlier versions in the future if it's requested. For now, it has to be over 4.26. And we have our blank 4.26 project here I'm using a third person example project. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is right click and migrate the files over. And that should take a second. And now that that's done, I'm just going to move that out of the way. We'll have our teleporting system in our project files right here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our project settings. Go to collision. Create a new trace channel named teleport set that to block and we'll close over that first thing we're going to want to do is open up our player character in our project and then in the teleporting system we'll do the same thing I'll put the master character for the teleporting system. So we're going to want to get our teleporting component. And once we get that, we're going to copy all of these inputs right here. Paste those in. And save. Get our jump teleport right here. Jump input right here. Make sure you plug that into the jump input. this next thing we'll want to do is target a few animations right now there's just a couple of these default animations for the uh, testing the teleport start and end animations but in the, in the future we'll be getting some better ones made for entering and exiting teleports you can either create these your own by just creating montages on your animations or replacing with your own transition montages but I'm just going to retarget them teleporting system meshes character So you're going to want to make sure that both your meshes are set to humanoid. I can find the third person mesh here. The mannequin folder. Oops. 
Select both of those. Select your mannequin. In your animation folder. Just like, let's have a different name. So create the animations there. And alternatively, you could have just hit both of these and created an animation montage. Probably should have done that. Way we, that's two ways of getting the animations. In the future, we'll, you'll need to retarget them. So it's a good way, good way to know that. So now you want to go to your teleporting component, so blueprints, teleporting component. I'm going to change this with your TP teleport start. TP teleport end. And let's put that as your TP teleport start for now. The full animation is basically if you don't want your character hidden, you can toggle this off and have a, have a full animation playing through your teleport. If you have animations for that, for example, we may have some of those in the future as well. But we're for sure going to have a start and an end. That's not needed. Or that will be something for the future. Probably shouldn't delete it, but whatever. And that should be everything for the them working. Just one more thing we'll need to do is set up our character teleports. I don't want to set the game mode to our own game mode. So we get our third person character and teleporting is working. So now if you want your overhead widget to display on characters, because for example, right now you can target AI, but if you have another player in the world, it won't target them and it'll actually give an error, which I'll fix in the future. So when you download this, that error won't pop up if you decide not to put it on your player. So you want to come over here, get your hope the overhead target off the master character and copy that. Just paste that here. And once that's pasted there, seems to be in the right location. You want to go into your master character, you want our input graph, you want to go to the event graph and copy this orange box right here for to initialize it go to your event graph get begin play if you don't already have it and now we can target players and teleport to them. And also, if you want the stamina bar, right now we have it set up as a 
just a little widget that you can throw into your HUD. So you can search this on the side of your HUD when you load it up. This, you just throw it on your HUD, anchor it to the location, and that will put your stamina bar in there and everything will work 100% with the stamina bar with all the system set up. Everything is ran through the component. And I'll just show you an example quickly of setting that up. So we'll go into here, create a widget. Create a HUD. Grab our stamina bar. Put it down the corner. Anchor it. Size the content. Count save. And in our third person character, begin play. And let's create widget. Could be HUD we just created. Get the player controller. Could create a reference to this so you can use it throughout if you wanted. I usually create a HUD ref. Just because I like to use it on the gameplay that's created. So now anytime throughout this blueprint, you can call through this blueprint and get access to your HUD. And you want to add it to the viewport. And then you have a HUD on your viewport. You know, this is not everything's working. Just needed to add it to your, your HUD. And if you want the mouse to display, you can come in here. That, that just gives the info. If you were to load up the other character, you'd get the info display. Um, copy this. Paste that. All you're doing is getting the show mouse scores cursor value from your controller. And the inputs are also displayed on the wall there. But, the way, but this is what would be displayed if you were to load up that HUD in the master character. That's going to be everything for this one. If you have any suggestions or questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below or my or join our Discord channel in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.